So I made a Tetris game basically that can um, do both two player and one player. Um, as you see, as you're seeing right now, um, this is the one player, and basically you have seven pieces, um, all each four square. And I can basically rotate a piece like that. We. Um, and you and this is going out to television. So yeah. This, so the the microcontroller is generating the television. You have a keypad here, which is doing the the user interface. Yeah, I can also save pieces by pressing the number two. And it'll go over there uh -huh. and save it. And I can, if I want to bring it back, I can press it again, and the current piece will be saved, and that piece will start back. Mm -hmm. And basically, it'll be game over once I hit the tap. And there it I catch. Okay, so put it in two two person mode now. now. Um, it will take a couple seconds to program because there's about four thousand lines of code. I see. So you're actually reflashing the microcontroller now to. So you're reflashing the controller for the two-person mode. Mm -hmm. So the hardware is fairly simple. I just have uh, the simple DAC that we use in the Lab 3, the video game. Uh, 1K, where the, I think the sync is through the 1K, mm -hmm. and the video signal is through the 330 ohm. Oops. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I, when it, I set it back to zero. Oh, no. All right, one more time. I first actually was considering using two um, microcontrollers mm -hmm. and then like having them interact with each other with the TX and RX. Mm -hmm. But and again, I didn't have time, so I just, but, used, I just used two keypads but it, on the same. But you have enough bandwidth, so you yeah. don't have to, right? Sorry. I'm trying to get away from the reflection of the light. So now we have two players. The screens okay. get smaller. So, so now I will try and, and manipulate one of these at the same time I'm videoing. <laughs> As you can see, um, I'm about to probably clear a line. And on two player, once you clear a line, you send another line to your other to your opponent. Okay. A line that you can't clear. So and I'm so on the right and I'm you're on the, right, on the left. And I'm about to send a line over because I'm about to clear this line. Mine will clear and you will get a new line. Oh and that wonderful. Can't, it can't be deleted. And so basically it's a race to the top, except you don't want to get to the top first. <laughs> and if I save a piece, if I press number two, it'll go to the side. And if you press number three, can you press number three? What? <laughs> Can you press number three? Your piece uh, will also be uh, saved and it'll be below my center player okay. too. I'm, I'm multitasking pretty hard here <laughs> to just to play the game and video at the same time and not make a total mess. Set you another line. So basically, this is how the game works, and I'm just going to lose on purpose so we can get to the game over thing. Oh, at least I got you, got you one, finally. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And. I lose. You lose. So okay. winner is two, which means winner is player two. Okay. Because I got to the top first. Nice. Right, so it's artifact free. Mm -hmm. It's a fully functional two-player game, mm -hmm. and uh, with some pretty cool dynamics. All right. Thank you.